All right, question. Do you ever feel like your work is starting to feel a little too basic or amateur? Because even if you're an experienced designer, it can be really easy to get in a rut where all of your work starts to look exactly the same. Clients and employers definitely notice this. And if you don't continue to add new skills and styles to your work, it's just going to get harder and harder to find new clients and job opportunities. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five styles that you can add to your websites to make all of your work look more more professional. Let's get into it. All right, the first style that I wanna to talk to you about is this glow effect. This style has been trending big time for the past year. Dark mode websites are really popular right now, and this glow effect is probably the easiest way to add depth and character to an otherwise really bland dark mode website. This effect is actually really easy to add to your website, but it makes a massive difference in the perceived quality and professionalism of your work. So in other words, if you start adding this to your websites, people are gonna think you're a design wizard. Now this glow style can really work for any type of website, but it works especially well in things like tech, AI, design, marketing, anything that you want to feel cutting edge or futuristic. So this effect can easily be added to your website by either adding a gradient over your background color or adding a drop shadow to any element of your site. But with these gradients, as always, less is more. Make sure to keep it subtle and smooth to achieve an expert look. All right, the second skill that I wanna to talk to you about is type-focused design. So when we want our designs to look custom and unique, we oftentimes revert to changing things like color, layout, and images. But we forget that one of the most powerful things we have on our website is type. Type represents the personality and attitude of a brand. And by making slight adjustments to the type on your website, it can change the overall feeling that a user has when they visit that site. Expert web designers know how to leverage this to make meaningful websites that look different than anything else on the web. So if you feel like you're stuck in that rut of all of your work looking the same, you should probably look to make adjustments to your type. Now there are tons of ways to make the type on your website more captivating, but here are just a few. You can pick unique fonts, you can get brave with larger font sizes, and you can also add variation within the text itself by changing colors, fonts, font weights, and even adding icons and images between words. Never underestimate the power of a unique font. And don't be afraid to use something that might seem a little bit out there. If every site you built uses Poppins and Open Sans and Lotto, your work instantly loses character before it ever gets published. All right, so making your work look professional is definitely a big challenge. And another big challenge is finding good clients and knowing how to actually run a design business. Pricing services, signing clients, managing projects, building your portfolio, choosing a niche, these are all essential to your success. And this is exactly what you get help with inside my private group, Pate Pro. Now, if you don't want another subscription, I totally get it. It seems like everything is a subscription now. But right now, you can actually buy a lifetime membership to the community, and you'll get access to all of the trainings, coaching, and resources forever. So if you want to join this awesome family of designers, just go to paypro.com or you can find the link just below this video. All right, the next style that I want to talk about is interactive product showcases. This is a style made popular by Apple. This approach makes the product the primary focus of the website. By getting a high-res photo of the product, which is often a 3D image, and then giving it the most important real estate on the website. It's usually front and center. Now these can get pretty technical, but they don't have to. If you don't want to make yours completely animated and interactive at first, all you need to do is take those images and place them throughout your site. But tools like Webflow and Framer actually make it really easy to add movement to these images. You can make them move when the page loads, when you move your mouse around, or as you scroll down the page. Now, of course, this only works for businesses that have a good product they want to showcase. And some products might just feel a little bit too strange to use this approach. If your company sells diapers, it might be a bit weird to have a floating diaper following you down the page as you scroll. But mastery of website interactions like this is a clear sign of a highly experienced designer. All right, this next one might seem a bit weird, but stay with me. Neutral color palettes for websites. Inexperienced designers often mask their lack of skill by using loud colors and designs to try to make their work memorable. Now there's nothing wrong with using bright colors as long as you don't use it as a crutch. Oftentimes the use of softer, more neutral colors shows a higher level of confidence and experience. Every website doesn't need to be bright orange or bright green to catch people's attention. 
Good design will do that on its own. So here's a good example of this. Here's a website that I built several years ago. And just this year, I redid the site again. You can see the drastic difference between the two. And there's definitely a level of expertise that was missing on the first go. The overall difference in quality is very apparent. Now, anytime I use more neutral colors in my designs, I end up liking the way it looks more. Especially if I choose to use one of those more neutral colors as a background color, it instantly makes my site look different than any others. So if you ever feel like your work is just missing that it factor, it could just be missing a few neutral colors. All right, the final style that I wanna talk about is bento grids. Bento grids themselves are more of a recent trend, but the concept of working within a flexible grid to lay out your website is as old as web design itself. As humans, we love structure and organization, and so these types of grids are just really comfortable to look at. A simple three by two or three by three grid basically gives you unlimited possibilities and variations especially once you start styling them to fit your brand. Now, of course, you don't want to make your entire site a big, long bento grid. But using this throughout your site pages is a really great way to add variation to the layouts. And it's a really great way to organize lots of information and content. Sometimes as designers, we try to get really wild and creative when what we really need is just to go back to the basics. Now, if you want more style ideas to increase the quality of your work, I would suggest going and watching this video right here. It's got tons of unique layout ideas that you can steal and add to your work to make it feel more custom. And there's also a free Figma file on that video, so don't miss that. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.